I forgot to empty the ash pan last time. This is only going to end badly. Easy. Oh, nice. Only a bit everywhere. It's about 11 o'clock on a Saturday morning. The weather's pretty nice and we're going to check out a little cafe. And it's a little bit special for us because this is one of the places that we visited when we were looking for a boat. So it's really weird coming back to a spot where we've been before when we, we had the car. We came down, walked along this path, looked at the Anglo Welsh boats. We remember saying, one day we'll be here on our own boat. And yeah. now we are. We also just met a lovely couple on Narrowboat Kismet who watched the videos. So, hello if you're Sorry still watching. Sorry we didn't get your names. Thank you so much for saying hello to us. It was lovely to chat to you. But they've given us some awesome tips of where to go and some things to look out for as we enter Rougely. So we're definitely going to keep an eye out for them. This is actually the same place that we came to last night when we bumped into the Christmas light switch on. We were going to save it to the morning, but it was just really exciting seeing loads of people and I'm glad we did go. It was nice. But now we're going to go to the cafe and get some breakfast. Show me your juice box. <laughs> I want them in apple juice and they've only got them in little cartons. <laughs> I will be playing the role of a child today. <laughs> this has got a little juice box. <laughs> Going to the shop now, and they have all of their Christmas decorations out, and I'm so excited. We just got our first Christmas tree on the boat. <laughs> We've gone for a living one because then we can compost it or give it away um, rather than a plastic one that we have to store all year round. But yeah, we love it! We ran out of gas a while ago and we've been waiting for a fuel boat. We haven't seen one just yet. So we're going to get one from Anglo Welsh, which is um, a hire boat marina. And there's one, it's just really close. It's just here. So we're just getting our old one out. Easy. I can't get that. <laughs> Easy. Whichever one of them you fancy, yeah. they're all the same. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Na na na, na na na. It's a lot heavier when it's full. 13 kilograms. Did you underestimate? <laughs> Do you want me to try? Oh, careful. <laughs> I swear if I'm careful. <laughs> Are you going to bring the trolley next time? No. Wes was like, I don't need the trolley. <laughs> that is the trolley next time. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Be careful. Dupes in there has no idea what's happening. He's just like, what's going on? All done. Well done, Wes. Done for another month or so. Finally found a bin store with recycling. So we've been able to empty our giant bag of recycling. So happy, finally. It was the Great Haywood, Great Haywood bin store. We've been looking for one for ages. So I'm very happy about that. We are just about to set off, heading towards Rugely. Um, Wes is just undoing the ropes and I'm going to meet him down at the lock with Rufus to get it ready.
there were just loads of people stood probably about 20 watching me and the previous the boat in front go through the locks and luckily now it's our turn they've all gone so i don't have anyone watching me So we have made it to Rougely. It's a really lovely looking town. We're not too far deep into it. Um, and we found a good spot with hopefully good solar. It's a 50-50 chance, so we'll take it. Amy's just sending a TikTok live that we've been doing today for the first time, so that was fun. And we're gonna moor up here for a week. Turns out that where we've moored is right near a couple of big supermarkets. So there's Morrison's and Iceland and Aldi and a Tesco. So it's really good for being able to just get things throughout the week and we're just gonna grab something quick for tonight. So earlier today, we bought our first ever Christmas tree and Amy's now decided that she wants another one. <laughs> no, because the other one, I think is a little bit too small. I think we can probably go bigger. It's not too big, not, it's pretty big. It's quite big. But I think that'll be all right found a wreath as well which okay. is all made of real things which means that we can sort of compost it when we're done rather than getting something that we have to store or just bin fuel boats here they pull up alongside you like this and they have all the coal and the the diesel and stuff in the front so we're going 10 bags of coal and topping up with diesel. We always seem to be in our pyjamas when they come. So this is the attire. Ten bags of coal. It's Wes's job to take them and stack them on the front of the roof now. There's too much manual labour in this lifestyle. I'm not getting out of all the jobs, promise. Just before the fuel boat came, we was in the middle of having the bed out and uh, getting some more winter bits out. So I have to finish, finish this whilst Wes is doing that. This is currently our under bed storage. So we have suitcases with loads of like summer clothes. This is more clothes, which we still haven't sorted out since the day that we moved. Don't judge us. And then also some DIY boxes and just bits and bobs. We really need to get some um, of the moisture meters to put under here, but we haven't managed to find any yet. Have we done it in the right order? Yeah. No? Oh. No. Oh dear. We're at 100% now. Come on. So the bed has a really specific order of these slats for some reason. Yeah, I knew it was that. Good work. 
Little bit of little pile of dog hair in that corner <laughs> stopped it. It's quite a nice day today. We're just headed into town. Um, the fuel boat's been, so we've sorted all that. We've sorted it under the bed. So we're gonna go and try and find a cabinet that we've been looking for for ages anyway. For the pile of many things. To just put the pile of many things in a neater way. We haven't got any vegan things today. Today is a sad day. <laughs> we found a unit that we like, but we know it doesn't fit. No, I think but, it will. <laughs> but it doesn't fit the way that we planned to put it in. But if we put it a different way in and maybe take a tactical saw to a couple of bits, it might fit. Because everything else about it is nice and it looks... It's got these really nice little baskets that go in the compartments. It fits the PS5. We can't return it to the stop shop if it doesn't fit. So we've just said we'll donate it back to them because it was a charity shop. Yeah. And then worst case scenario, we've donated £15 to the Children's Ambulance Fund. How's your confidence levels, Amy? Well. Just a reminder of the, the space and the item of furniture. It's so much bigger now. It was literally so small in the shop. I told you, we, we already know it doubles in size when it goes on the boat. It's a bit odd, but I think I could live with that. I think it's better than the ugly pile. Yeah, 100%. It's one of the few times we actually use measurements and that is basically built for the height of the PS5. I love it already. I think we're going to keep it. So we can use it as kind of like a coffee table because we haven't had one, to be fair. Got some plants on there. And then underneath, we've got like fire lighters, um, some chargers for the laptops that we use all the time, like PS5 games. We've got our kindling there, some logs there. The PS5 has managed to fit there. And Rufus's toys. It's not ideal, um, but it's a lot better than before. Do you agree, Wes? It's all right. In Rugeley is another laundrette, and last time we managed to wash all the bedding, but then we had to move on. So we're making the most of it, and we're getting through a big chunk of washing that's just kind of built up as a bit of a backlog, because we had limited water for a couple of weeks, so the washing's built up. So thankfully, the laundrette allows us to catch back up again. Two wrap bags done! So I think that's an empty wash basket now, right? Completely empty wash basket. Brotherly love sharing a carrot on the sofa together. Amy is away for a few days. She's gonna go spend some time with her mum and her sisters, just cause she can really. So they're going to uh, Birmingham Christmas Market and then just doing a bit of shopping as well. Just having some family time. I'm just working anyway, so it doesn't really matter. A 
little bit of a fiasco with the rooms. Um, but now we're just dropped all the bags off and we're going to go explore the Christmas market, aren't we? Yes. go and watch some tv in bed good morning we're off to go get breakfast we've got a complimentary breakfast because the last room that we were in oh no weren't cleaned so we're gonna go aren't we <laughs> look at all the snow fairy stuff i love lush so much <laughs> there's a bath bomb i miss my bath <laughs> I am about to have a bath in my mum's bath. I bought myself a lush bath bomb and everything. I'm so excited. I've been having a bath in about maybe a year. Amy's back today. Woo! I've got the second half of the day off, which means that we can just chill after lunch, which will be really nice. I'm really excited. Left my mum's now, and I've got all the stuff in the boot that Wes is going to probably hate me for buying. My sister's driving me. Just got a quick appointment, um, and then we are going back to the boat. Back in Rougely, where we are based at the moment, Lily there. Bye! Back with Wes now. Oh my god, it's absolutely freezing now. We've just walked to Jess for the car. I want to go in my pyjamas and just get cozy. That night, Storm Arwen hit the UK. It was one of the few times that the red weather warnings had been issued for wind in the UK, with speeds up to 98 miles per hour. Luckily, we were just outside of the dangerous zones, but we still felt the effects of our first storm on board. I was just pretty scared in the storm. Finn the ducks keep him safe, though. We woke up this morning to... reliable test of how good your insulation is is how much snow you get on your roof 
we've got quite a lot which is a good sign because it means that your insulation's really good however our fire went out overnight so the boat was freezing anyway so once we get the fire going if all that melts then we know we've got bad insulation time to start the fire and get it all cozy <laughs> Warm up the snowman's nose. <laughs> Warm up, guys. Look at these two cozy boys. Time to start decorating. Amy's not feeling very well today and we need to move on so that we can get to the next marina to empty the Elson and do the usual before it gets dark which means I'm having to brave Tesco on my own to do quite a big weekly shop so wish me luck. Couldn't film anything, obviously. My hero. Food shop's done. We're setting off now. We're going to try and make it to a marina before it gets dark to empty the Elson and refill the water and then just find anywhere to moor up. But it looks like there's no locks and it's hopefully not too far. So it should be a short ish cruise. We've got a tree down from the storm. Cruising in the snow, it's so pretty. So we've just been cruising and some people on the towpath said watch out for the trampoline. And we thought they were joking, but now we can actually see a full on trampoline in the middle of the canal. So we're gonna have to try and get around that. Be careful. a water point that wasn't marked on the map so we're going to take advantage of it because some marinas charge for water through the alleyway and we're looking for somewhere to empty the toilet so we're gonna go and run through the alleyway <laughs> see what it is and see if it's worth keeping going but we might have to moor up soon anyway because the snow is getting pretty crazy turns out it's quite far but it's really pretty this is the main road there's a dentist down there not very helpful though. The sign lied. There's a dentist and a butcher's. I said that, I bet it's just the shops. It's cold. It's so cold. <laughs> way worse than we anticipated it's just come down so much so we're gonna leave it here for tonight we didn't make it to the toilet we're just gonna have to we did have room because obviously we we always leave a little bit of room in case this happens um so yeah we're gonna have to call it for tonight because it's just too bad 
and hopefully one day this week we can go a little bit further to the the toilets our center line is completely frozen okay. what's the verdict on mooring in the snow wes i hear you say it it looks very picturesque but my hands i feel like they're Oh my god, I'm nervous. We're iced in for the first time. Whole canal is frozen. We were planning on moving a bit this morning because we had to stop yesterday because the weather got too bad but it's about quarter to eight and the canal is just solid so we can't really move because we could damage the boat or get stuck at some point we need to figure out what to do about the toilets looks pretty though so because we've iced in for the first time I'm just running some hot water down the kitchen tap to make sure our kitchen water exit oh, I don't know what to call it um, isn't frozen so that we don't get a blockage can't complain about the views though ice and snow adds a stressful element to voting for sure but we just have to take a moment at least. Look at this. Back to the stress. So um, I'm going to poke around the ice around the boat just to break it loose. Because um, other boaters have said that's a good idea. So that it's not sitting on your blacking. So I'm going to do that. We need to cruise to empty the toilet um but we don't know whether this ice is too thick it's not thick at all it's really thin so we think it will be fine but we just don't want to annoy other boaters by like smashing ice into them and we're not sure yet on like how thick is too thick to cruise so we're gonna hope that another boat comes past and then if they come past that means we're good to go slightly frozen litter picker for the poking job. At least one of us is happy. What you got? Oh, he's loving the snow. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Another boat has just gone past and created a line of broken ice for us so we're gonna go 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 quickly just get as close we ta as we can to the marina because even if we don't get the boat close enough as long as we get within where we are able in a point where we can walk the cassettes into the marina that's even better um so we're just gonna get as close as we can today we only have like half a day left in the cassettes so yeah that's the plan the engine bay door is completely frozen um we could probably pour water down it but we're just going to cruise a little bit and their engine warmth should heat it up quite quickly um so yeah we're about to set off we shouldn't be going far only probably maximum an hour we don't really want to go far at all <sighs> let's go Oh my god, the front is moving a huge sheet of ice. Can you see it? But once we're in the other boat's path that they've already broken for us, we should be fine.
Just on our morning cruise and it's absolutely gorgeous like it's so pretty we can't get over just how nice it is the snow is just gorgeous i think winter might be coming up to my favorite season Thank you so much to Bajua for your continued extra support. It means so much to us. We hope you enjoyed watching us tackle some of the most extreme weather we've had so far. Thank you for your continued support. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and following us on our socials.